Good morning and welcome to all of you. It's so wonderful to see so many of you here this morning. Hello to all of you also joining us via the live webcast. I'd especially like to welcome some of our youngest guests here today. And I want you in particular to know that it won't be too long before we get to the good part, okay? We gotta talk a little bit, but pretty soon the food will be coming. So uh, you've all no doubt experienced that the restaurant industry is an enormously dynamic, trend-setting, constantly evolving to meet uh, customer needs. And we're also an industry, we're very proud to say that we uh, feel woven into the fabric of American lives. There are restaurants in nearly every single community across our nation. And the restaurant industry, uh, surprisingly to some, is larger than the aerospace, the agriculture, and the motion picture industries all combined. We employ nearly one in every 10 workers in this country. And a restaurant, as we all know and have experienced, is where families celebrate birthdays and anniversaries, where the Little League and the Girl Scouts meet, after a game or a meeting, where a time crunch family on the go goes for takeout. No matter what the occasion, we recognize the very important roles that restaurants play in Americans' lives. And we also realize the importance of giving parents and children more options and more information so that they can make menu choices that are right for them and for their families. The National Restaurant Association and our industry overall is committed to taking a proactive role in helping our country deal with issues related to food and healthy living, including childhood obesity. We know that we have an important role to play in helping Americans lead healthier lives. And our vision has been to create an environment that encourages voluntary, flexible options for restaurateurs to address today's healthy living challenges and to really develop a holistic approach to healthy living that, encompass, that encompasses a multitude of solutions, both, as we say, calories in and calories out. We've seen some positive trends in the last few years of many restaurants recognizing consumer interest in more healthful options. In fact, our latest nationwide survey of chefs showed that nutritionally balanced children's meals were one of this year's top culinary trends. And two-thirds of quick service operators say that they're offering more healthful choices for children than they did just two years ago. 70% of the American public says that they are making more healthful choices while dining out than they did two years ago, just two years ago. So we wanted to seize upon that momentum and also drive innovation to deliver more healthful options on children's menus. So the National Restaurant Association has developed a program to make it easier for restaurants, as well as to provide a selection of healthier kids' options and make it easy for us as parents and for kids to try to find these options. The result is the creation of the nationwide program that we are unveiling here today. Today, we are happy to announce Kids Live Well an initiative that will help identify restaurants that offer healthful kids' choices on menus nationwide. These Kids Live Well items emphasize healthful ingredients such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and low-fat and fat-free dairy products. These choices also meet stringent nutritional criteria, and they are fully aligned with the 2010 USDA Dietary Guidelines. I think it says a lot about our industry that restaurants are excited and are stepping up to the plate by joining this program and making the healthful choice the easy and delicious choice. The National Restaurant Association is rolling out this program in collaboration with Healthy Dining. Healthy Dining's website will help parents easily find the restaurants that the Kids Live Well menu choices and the nutrition information are available. Healthy Dining's team of registered dietitians also work with participating restaurants to validate the menu items and the nutrition information. All of the participating companies will also be listed on the National Restaurants Association's website as well, and we'll show you how to find the restaurant items, the restaurants and the items in just a few minutes. 
To be included in the Kids Live Well program, restaurants must offer a full children's meal, which includes an entree, a side, and a beverage, with 600 calories or less. That meal must be comprised of nutrient-rich foods by providing two servings of fruit, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and or low-fat dairy, and limiting sodium, fats, and sugar. Restaurants must also offer at least one other side item that also follow the similar criteria. In addition, they must provide nutrition information about the meal as well as promote the item so that they are easily identifiable on the menu or the menu board. It's exciting, very exciting, uh, that we have 19 significant restaurant companies representing more than 15,000 locations all across the country that are inaugural leaders of this program today at launch. We think this is a fantastic first step as we unveil and begin to grow this program. So now, I'd like to officially unveil the new Kids Live Well program by introducing some of the inaugural leaders of this new initiative. Today, we have several restaurant companies here, and many of them are showcasing one or some of their Kids Live Well items for you, and maybe even more importantly for our youngest guests. So please reveal the menu items and the companies, please. I'm happy to introduce our launch inaugural leaders, the companies who are joining us to launch this very exciting initiative. I'd like to have a representative from each company share a brief description of their items. We'll be showing photos and pictures. Uh, and we'll start with uh, Melissa Cook, the Director of Marketing for Obon Pan. Melissa? Good morning. Um, very happy to be here this morning representing Obon Pan, um, as I really believe we are a natural fit for the Kids Live Well program. Obon Pan has been on the forefront of healthy dining for years. Um, we have kiosks, nutritional kiosks, in all of our cafes in the dining room to help our customers make informed decisions about their eating choices. In addition, for years we've posted calories on all of our menu panels and menu items. Um, in all of our cafes, and this was even before any kind of local or state or even federal regulations. So again, everybody um, is informed on the decisions that they need to make. Um, as far as uh, the kids live well, we um, believe this is a natural fit as well. Um, we have many, many menu items from fruit to yogurt um, to our portions. In addition, all of our menu items can be customized to meet any of our dietary um, concerns for our customers. Um, please stop by today. Today we're sampling a couple of our kids sandwiches. We have a uh, turkey and Swiss on multigrain baguette as well as a chicken breast and cheddar on multigrain baguette. We also have a nice little portion of watermelon which would be a great refreshing treat for a day like today. So anyway we look forward to being part of this program and we look forward to seeing the concept grow. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Melissa. Next, I'd like to call on Craig Prusher, who's the Vice President of Government Affairs for Burger King. Craig? Thank you, Don. Um, I wanted to say that we are very, very proud to be an inaugural leader of the National Restaurant Association's Kids Live Well program. For a number of years, we've been committed to promoting nutritionally balanced meals to our guests as part of our BK Positive Steps Corporate Social Responsibility program. Since 1954, in our over 7,500 restaurants, we've already been offering our guests a have it your way menu so they can choose foods that are based on their individual tastes, whether that means lower sodium, lower fat, or calories, or adding whole grains and fruit. As our menu evolves, we continue to focus on food that can be part of a balanced diet and offers the quality and taste that our guests expect from us. We're proud to announce that we have not one, but three different BK Kids Meals that meet the Kids Live Well nutrition guidelines. We encourage you to come by and meet the rest of the Burger King team, Stephanie, our nutritionist, Denise with our communications team, and Eric Oppenheim, our local DC-based Burger King franchisee that operates restaurants here in the district. We'll be giving out free samples of our BK Fresh Apple Fries, which are a full serving of fruit and which are available as an option in all of our kids' meals and in our adult meals as well. 
and I look forward to meeting you at the table. Thanks. Perfect. Thank you, Craig. Uh, next, uh, uh, from uh, Real Mex Restaurants, Joe McCarthy. Joe? Thank you, Don. Uh, I really want to say on behalf of Real Mex, we're very excited about being part of this inaugural group, starting off with the kids live well. Um, at Real Mex, over the past few years, we have worked diligently to look at our menu and reduce sodium fat wherever we possibly could. And as part of the extension of this came into our children's meals. Uh, we're very proud that we have two wonderful items that fit within the criteria now and continue to work on more. Uh, Chevy's and Real Mex restaurants is, is fun. We attract an awful lot of children and families and we realize our responsibility and obligation to create a healthful meal and choices for parents and children as well. Uh, today, with the items that we'll be having, uh, we have a grilled uh, salsa chicken taco with, served with carrot and celery sticks and some pineapple juice and our sweet corn tamalito, which is one of our favorites. Um, here's our regional chef, Jose Ortega, with a sample of what that will look like. But uh, we encourage all of you to come by and try our wonderful food. And again, we're very excited about being part of this inaugural event. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Chef. Uh, Chili's Bar and Grill, Raquel Morales, Senior Manager of Culinary Innovation. Raquel? Hello, everyone. Chili's is very excited to be a partner with the Kids Live Well program. And when NRA approached us with this opportunity, we jumped at the chance because we wanted to educate our consumers on our healthy menu items that we offer our kids and also our adults with Guiltless Grill. Is there a microphone over here? So this is um, an example. what we're going to be sampling today. This is our grilled chicken platter with steamed broccoli, all under 200 calories. And we're also going to be sampling other menu items, um, fresh pineapple, celery sticks with low-fat ranch. And we're excited for everybody to come by and try. Thank you. Thank you, Raquel. Next, from the Corner Bakery Cafe, Rich, Rick Sachitano, Senior Vice President of Food and Beverage. Rick? I was close. I had my, I had my ph phonetic pronunciation and everything, and I still didn't get it. Chicatano. I, I just learned it, and I'm Sorry 44 about that. years old. <laughs> uh, hey, thanks for inviting us. Uh, Corner Bakery is really excited to be part of this inaugural campaign. You know, in the test kitchen, when we develop food, whether it's for our core menu for adults or for children, we have a filter we apply in the test kitchen. One out of every four decisions has to have some type of healthful connotation. Meets a dietary guideline, lower in sodium, has the right protein content, whole grains. And it's nice to know that Corner Bakery has two menu items we're going to feature today that meet that criteria, but also gives us a challenge and go back into the restaurants or into the kitchen and how do we further advance the, the, the kids' menu because we're a natural fit for kids. Our mall locations, our suburban locations, they're full of children throughout the day, and this just helps us kind of keep raising the bar year over year. So come by and join us today. <clears throat> We've got a turkey sandwich and whole grain bread, pasta and marinara. Lucky for us, <clears throat> compared to a lot of folks, we're downstairs here, so it's really easy for us to bring food back up. So as you enjoy our food, we can keep bringing up more. And for you adults, come back downstairs for lunch if you want to join us. But glad to be part of the program. Come by and see us. Thanks. Rick Shikitano. Thank you, Rick, very much. Uh, next, from Cracker Barrel, uh, we welcome Vince Tyler, the culinary manager of uh, Cracker Barrel. Vince? Thank you. And on behalf of Cracker Barrel, we are as well excited to be a part of this program. Um, at Cracker Barrel Old Country Stores, we serve home-style meals made with fresh quality ingredients that appeal to everyone. And we feel that especially to kids. And that's why it's a very important reason why we are really delighted to be a part of the Kids Live Well program. We feel it's a natural fit for our brand. Um, for example, on our menu, we have several items that already meet the criteria, as well as our items are trans fat free. Today, we'll be sampling st three different items. We'll be sampling our grilled chicken tenders with corn. We've also got fresh um, apple juice. That's an organic apple juice that we'll be serving today as well along with made-from-scratch chicken and dumplings, which is just a heritage dish for us, which you've got to try them. They're just unbelievably good. 
Um, and as well as a kid's vegetable plate. We have several different combinations of vegetable plates that meet the criteria along with apple juice. And today we've got corn and fresh green beans. I'm sorry, corn and our green beans, which are home style grilled cooked green beans. So we appreciate the opportunity to be part of this inaugural event and encourage you all to stop by our Cracker Barrel booth and sample our foods. Thank you. Starting to sound good, isn't it? Uh, healthy and delicious. Uh, our next uh, uh, featured brand is Denny's, and we welcome David Coltrane, Senior Director of Product Marketing and Strategy for Denny's. Thank you. It's an honor to be with you all as we celebrate the excitement of this Kids Live Well program event. Uh, Denny's recognizes the critical importance to provide healthy options for our guests at convenient locations and at prices that are really affordable. And we're pleased to be participating in today's event with two featured dishes that meet the dietary needs of today's youth. The first that you'll be sampling today is our Denny's Junior Build Your Own Grand Slam. This gives kids the opportunity to choose three items from a list of nine. Among those nine, we have healthier options such as scrambled egg whites, turkey bacon, and vanilla yogurt. The second plate that we'll be featuring is our kids' spaghetti with marinara sauce, a side of broccoli, uh, as well as apple juice. So uh, we are thrilled to be a part of this event. We have, think we've got some great food options here. Don't want to miss a good shot of our uh, spaghetti and marinara with the steamed broccoli and apple juice. Uh, and we look forward to working with this event to create lifelong eating habits for kids. Thank you. Okay, kids, we're almost there. Just three more, and then we're going to uh, hear a little bit more and then have a bite to eat. Uh, very uh, exciting addition to our program, uh, Joe's Crab Shack, and we welcome Kristen Temple, Director of Marketing uh, for the Ignite Restaurant Group, owner of uh, the brand Joe's. Kristen? Thank you so much for having us. We're ecstatic to be here. Um, at Joe's Crab Shack, what we try to do is look at not only providing nutritious menu options to our guests, kids included, but we also want to make sure that we promote an active lifestyle. With that being said, most of our locations have a playground. Um, in addition to that, if any of you have been to Joe's, you know that we encourage both young and young at heart to get up and dance with our servers. So today what we wanted to do is give you a little glimpse at the heart of who we are, which is crab. So Georgia Chambe is going to be providing you all with samples of our snow crab and farm fresh corn on the cob. So we encourage you all to get a little messy. You have to eat with your hands. It's fun food. And I will be happy to show any of you who have never eaten crab before how to actually dig in with our useful tool, tool the crab zipper. So we look forward to seeing you all at our table later. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kristen. Uh, now we're very happy to welcome uh, one of the early uh, adopters of this whole concept, uh, Silver Diner, and uh, welcome Epoch von Hunks, the executive chef, co-founder, and co-founder Bob Giacomo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The little bison burgers are coming right over here. Isn't that cute? <laughs> When you speak about this subject, you speak into something that is very close to my heart because I think we all have in the United States the moral obligation to give our kids better and healthier food. Because as we all know, we probably have the first generation that uh, supposedly are not going to live as long as we do, and I'm only 35. Uh, <laughs> we have that obligation, and I feel you know, strongly that kids are not born with chicken tenders in one hand and with macaroni and cheese in the other. If that's all we're going to give them in the restaurants, that's all they're going to eat. At the Silver Diner, what we're doing is we give them fresh options, we give them local options, because for instance, what you have over here today, what you're going to be getting is fresh bison sliders. And these bison sliders are from Moncton Farms, like 30 miles out of here, so it's not only healthier because it's a fatty, lean uh, uh, beef, much leaner even than chicken. And so it's great for you, it's healthy for you, and it's local. Then we have fresh spinach, we have fresh fruit, we have multigrain rolls, which are baked daily, uh, also from unbleached flour. I always like to tell people, I'm your chef, I'm not your doctor, but I think we have the obligation to be a little bit of both. And, you know, if we keep doing this, then our kids will live healthier, we will have a better generation, they will be more playing sports, they will enjoy much more what we're doing, and, you know, 
come to this di silver diner and have macaroni and cheese too. We have it. But if you want to have healthier option for your kids, come and have the spinach salad, have the, have the fresh fruit, and have all the ingredients that they're supposed to eat. So this is something very close to my heart. I think we all have the moral obligation to serve this kind of food to our kids. If we don't do it, we are doing them a disservice. Thank you. Now we welcome uh, Chris Handlin, the Vice President of Operations for uh, Z Pizza, a company franchisee here in Virginia. Good morning. We're very proud to be involved with this event. Since 1986, we've cared about what everybody eats. I eat a lot of pizza, and I can tell you, um, using fresh, natural, and organic ingredients is a core value that we've always had, uh, as well as gluten-free options. We use uh, low-fat uh, mozzarella, uh, as well as nitrate and additive-free sausage and pepperoni. Uh, and uh, come try us out. We've got uh, California pizza on a wheat crust, um, a curry and yam rustica, as well as a Berkeley, a Berkeley vegan pizza. So look forward to meeting you. Come try us out. Thank you. Okay, we have two other companies who have joined us today in person uh, to describe uh, the items that they're offering at their restaurants, and I'd like to invite Cami Spilliards, the VP of Research and Development for Outback OSI, uh, to join us. Cami? Thank you. Good morning. We're thrilled to be here and to be a part of this initiative. You know, at OSI, we pride ourselves on listening to our guests' feedback and to offering a wide variety of choices. And we're uniquely positioned to do that because of the quality of our ingredients, our fresh product, and our made-from-scratch preparations. At all of our restaurants, our steak is 100% USDA choice. It's Midwestern grain-fed beef. <clears throat> and our chicken is farm fresh and never frozen. So at Outback Steakhouse, our Kids Live Well menu items are grilled chicken on the barbie with freshly steamed broccoli and orange juice or apple juice as well as our Joey Sirloin with freshly steamed broccoli and, again, orange juice or apple juice. And at Outback, we also have an interactive nutrition tool that allows our guests to go online, look at nutritional content, and then customize their experience with us for whatever their particular dietary need is. We also have an array of menu items that can be modified or are naturally 500 calories or, or lower. At Carabas Italian Grill, our Kids Live Well items are grilled chicken with seasonal vegetables. Um, we'll have spinach, broccoli, asparagus, depending upon seasonality. And then a whole grain spaghetti pomodoro with seasonal vegetables, and they're both served with 100% apple juice. At Carabas, we also have an array of menu items under 600 calories, and we have a selection of small um, entrees that also give more variety for our guests. And at Bonefish Grill, our Kids Live Well item is grilled fish with mixed vegetables, and it's served with 100% orange juice or grapefruit juice. And Bonefish Grill was recognized in 2010 as the top healthy restaurant in the National Zagat Chain Restaurant Survey. So lots of healthy options for our guests at Bonefish Grill. So we're very excited to be a part, and we hope that you visit us in the restaurants to try the items. Thank you. And finally, Chef Nicole Barrera with T-Bone's Great American Eatery, uh, fresh from New Hampshire, where it's less than 99 degrees today, I hope. Uh, Chef Nicole? Thank you so much. We appreciate the opportunity to be here. As she mentioned, my name is Nicole Barrera. I am the executive chef with a restaurant group called T-Bones and Cactus Jacks. We own seven privately owned locations throughout central and uh, southern New Hampshire. Last year, we launched our own in the pink menu items that feature healthy children and adult meals. These items are either one of or a combination of 650 calories or less, 10 grams of net carbohydrates or less, or 10 grams of fat or less. Today, we are so thrilled to be launching and adding to our in the pink menu our kids live well items we are featuring a fresh grilled salmon dish in a barbecue grilled chicken dish both of these dishes include fresh steamed broccoli baked potato and a low-fat milk choice we've created these items and have expanded our tbonesloveskids.com website 
to include printable fun sheets that offer healthy tips, games, recipes, and ideas to keep the whole family moving and active. Kids that order in the pink items or the kids live well items will be sent home with a fun, cool pedometer so they can track their steps when they go home and just get out and uh, other cool prizes that we'll offer to help involve the kids in ordering these items and be excited to order them. As a mother of young children myself and as a chef, I couldn't be more honored and excited to be part of this initiative via T-Bones and Cactus Jacks and as I said, as a mother myself, the Kids Live Well program is something that we're super excited to be part of and it is printed and in our menu today and hopefully guests at this very moment are ordering them. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. Thank you all so much uh, for sharing the description of your items and uh, for your commitment to this important program. I'd also like to mention the other uh, terrific companies that are part of this launch uh, but not able to be here today. Uh, Burgerville, El Pollo Loco, Friendly's, IHOP, and Sizzler. Nineteen companies across the nation, uh, 15,000 restaurants, and thousands uh, more on the way. So now I have the pleasure, the, the honor and pleasure and privilege of introducing uh, to you Anita Jones Muller, the president and founder of Healthy Dining and HealthyDiningFinder.com. Anita will provide some more details about the Kids Live Well program and how to locate the participating restaurants. I think it's important uh, to acknowledge and note that Anita established this company, Healthy Dining, in 1990, which was a little bit ahead of the curve. Uh, with the mission of empowering Americans to enjoy dining out as part of a healthy lifestyle and to inspire restaurants to offer the kinds of selections that we've uh, been able to uh, provide today. Anita has a master's degree in public health from San Diego State University and she first opened her practice as a nutritionist, started getting patients who were developing health problems partly due uh, to some of the choices they were making and like others in the field, she recommended healthful eating and getting plenty of exercise but soon she realized that people could benefit from more tools and more resources to help them make those healthy choices uh, when eating out and eating at home. But that realization led her to the creation of Healthy Dining and HealthyDiningFinder.com. We at the National Restaurant Association are extraordinarily proud of our growing relationship with Anita and HealthyDiningFinder.com. Uh, Anita, welcome. Thank you. So today I'm here in two roles. My first role is as president of Healthy Dining, and we are so thrilled to be working with the National Restaurant Association on this groundbreaking Kids Live Well program. Four years ago, right here at the National Press Club with the National Restaurant Association, we launched Healthy Dining Finder, the first ever search guide to find healthier choices at restaurants. That has now grown to be the largest ever restaurant industry nutrition initiative. It features 60,000 restaurant companies, or 60,000 restaurant locations, um, and their dietitian approved healthy dining options. These restaurants span coast to coast, from fast food to fine dining, and all types of cuisines. And so today, we are announcing the launch of the new Kids Live Well platform on Healthy Dining Finder. So now every member of the family, kids, teens, young adults, parents, grandparents, can find great tasting, healthier options at a variety of America's popular restaurants. It's exciting that restaurants are really rising to the challenge of creating items for the whole family. Items that not only please taste buds, but they also please our waistlines and help our bodies, give the, our bodies the nutrition that they need. So lean protein, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, unsaturated fats, so that we can live each day at our best, full of energy, vitality, and good health. So let me show you how we, you can find the participating restaurants and the Kids Live Well choices and also the new features on Healthy Dining Finder to really help educate and inspire families so that they can learn more about eating healthy at restaurants. So this is the new home page for Healthy Dining Finder just launched last night at about 11.30 p.m. Um, so you'll see photos uh, rotating of the Kids Live Well items and also other Healthy Dining approved options. So that's one of the Silver Diner items that I think you get to chew or taste today. Um, then, next slide, well you can see the search results so you can put in your zip code and find um, the locations near you that are participating in the program and in the Kids Live Well program. You can also click on the Kids Live Well icon there. 
and get into the Kids Live Well section. So you'll see the um, inaugural leaders right now, and as Don said, we'll continue to grow those restaurants, so you should see more and more restaurants um, in the coming months. So you can click on any restaurant's logo and get into their Kids Live Well page, or next slide. You can also do a search, so you can search by Kids Live Well items, or you can also search by your zip code and find those items. So these are the restaurants, so again, you can click on their logo and find their items. And that should be the next page. So this is an example of a Kids Live Well page. So this is IHOP. So you can see their items, and for any of the food groups that they meet, so the fruits, the vegetables, the whole grains, the lean proteins, or the dairy, they get a yellow star, and then all of the nutrition information is detailed. And all of those meet the Kids Live Well guidelines. Um, there's also a section that gives all of the nutrition criteria for the um, Kids Live Well guidelines. Um, the site also will have different articles and content written by dietitians and other stakeholder organizations um, about different ways that you can inspire your kids to eat healthier. Uh, we have a new phone app coming soon. We're working with health partners. They're based out of Minnesota. And so it will be um, basically where you can search by kids' items or if you're looking for lower sodium options, all different types of, of ways that you can search on the phone app. And then it will give the menu choices and their nutrition information, and you can do comments and uh, like it and send it off to Facebook and things like that. Also, restaurants will be adding the Kids Live Well logo and information on their menu. So this is an example, next slide, of Friendly's menu that will be coming out in just a few weeks. So you can see how easy it is to find those items. Um, the red apple icon will also be um, offered on menus to help find those items. So my second role here today is as a mom. I have two daughters, one is 16 and one is 10, and they're busy with school and dance and gymnastics and tennis. And I have a demanding job, and my husband has a demanding job, so we, we eat out a lot. And in fact, it's more of a special occasion for me to actually make a meal at home and for my ham family to be home to enjoy it. So helping restaurants offer healthier choices is not only a personal passion, but also um, a professional passion of mine. And even though I've loved and studied nutrition almost my whole life, and I've converted my husband to be a healthy eater, um, my kids don't seem to be following my footsteps. And I have a 16 year old, and she's looking at colleges, and when I mention, well, how about majoring in health and nutrition like I did, I get a quick and firm no. Uh, my 10 year old will order french fries over broccoli any day. She'll order the pizza and the grilled cheese over the lean chicken breast, and she'll order the lemonade over the milk any day. So I know firsthand how important it is to really find creative ways to entice kids to eat healthier when eating out. And so I think this new Kids Live Well program really has the potential to do that. I think this is the start of something really big. It's groundbreaking. It's something that will make America a pl healthier place to raise kids. I think it will make a, an important impact on future generations. Healthy Dining's team of registered dietitians have been working one-on-one -on -one with the restaurants in this program to really help identify the options, do the nutrition analysis if needed. Um, and so we also get to hear firsthand from the restaurants like you did today how excited they really are about this program. And really restaurants are food creators. They're the artists. They're the trendsetters. And by getting them excited about serving up healthy, great tasting, enticing cuisine, that can make a big difference in helping Americans live healthier, higher quality lives. So thank you for being here today with us to unveil this very important turning point for our nation's kids and future generations. We need you to help get the word out about this program so that kids all over the, the United States can find these items. Um, soon, the National Restaurant Association Healthy Dining will be offering materials that you can use in newsletters and your communication vehicles um, to really get this information out. So who's dying to try these Healthy Dining items at Kids Live Well items? Okay, so very soon. Thank you.
Okay, thank you, Anita. We have two other uh, guests I'd like to just introduce uh, to you. We're very pleased to welcome uh, Rob Bisegli, who is the Executive Director of Action for Healthy Kids, a uh, phenomenal organization doing amazing work. Uh, we'd like to ask Rob just to speak a little bit about his organization's support of the Kids Live Well program. Rob? Good morning, everyone. I don't know about you, but I'm getting very hungry listening to those descriptions, so I'll try to be as uh, brief as I possibly can. Um, I'm thrilled to be here this morning uh, to witness the launch of the Kids Live Well program and to participate in it. Um, and I'm excited primarily as an executive director of Action for Healthy Kids. But I'm not going to talk about that just yet. Uh, I'm going to follow my predecessor's uh, line of thought here for a second and talk to you a little bit about, a, uh, uh, about my perspective as a dad, and not just a regular dad, a foodie dad who likes to eat out a lot uh, with my wife and three kids, six, four, and one. And so you can see I'm in the hot seat uh, when it comes to going to restaurants. Um, in fact, uh, I'm not a nutrition expert at all, and I don't have uh, an official relationship with the National Restaurant Association, um, but I am known to occasionally get on my healthy food uh, high seat uh, at home. And when I do, my wife and kids have taken to calling me something sarcastically. And it goes something like this. Mr. Action for Healthy Kids. Uh, we're at the restaurant, for example, and my wife or child will say to me, okay, Mr. Action for Healthy Kids, if you don't like that kid's menu item, you have something else to suggest. Um, and so uh, here this morning, I'm really thrilled because I'm hoping to hear far fewer Mr. Action for Healthy Kids uh, remarks when we go to those uh, restaurants. Um, in fact, we often pack our uh, three little ones into the crossover and head over to our uh, local restaurants. And so this is really a great day for me as a dad. And I've, and I've got to say, uh, being in the public health realm, uh, dads, aren't, uh, dads aren't represented enough. We hear a lot from moms, all the time from moms. And I'm in roomfuls of mom, moms all the time. But very rarely do we see a dad who wants to uh, get in the action. And, uh, and so I'm thrilled as a dad to be here. Now, as Executive Director of Action for Healthy Kids, and all kidding aside, um, for those of you who don't know my organization, Action for Healthy Kids, um, it's the nation's largest network of school wellness volunteers in the country with more than 20,000 uh, members across the U.S. who support improved school wellness. Uh, we have worked in every state in the U.S. around school nutrition and physical activity, um, and our vision is that kids will develop the lifelong habits necessary to promote health and learning. And yes, we know, research has proven, health and learning are linked, and therefore the future of our kids are linked to not only what they eat, but also how physically active they are. It's very, very important. Um, Action for Healthy Kids was the first volunteer-driven national organization, a uh, nonprofit organization, created to combat the childhood obesity epidemic, and uh, specifically through schools. And our organization is nine years old right now, and we've witnessed great progress. Um, however, the news about obesity in America seems to become more alarming every single day. Despite our efforts and those of other great organizations across the country, many of which are represented here today, the statistics continue their upward surge. In fact, according to a recently released uh, F, in, F as in fat report by the Trust for America's Health, adult obe obesity rates increased in 16 states in the past year and, and did not decline in a single state. 12 states now have obesity rates above 30%. Four years ago, only one state was above 30%. So, uh, since Action for Healthy Kids and others have been working on this issue for more than 10 years, at least 10 years, Healthy, healthy Dining Finder and healthy, uh, healthy Dining has been around for uh, quite a long time, and many of our children um, uh, we've reached uh, them over those 10 years, it's obvious that we as a country need to redouble our efforts. And that's not to say that we haven't made some wonderful progress here in this country in some areas. In schools where we do our work, we have seen some excellent progress. We've seen better policies. We've seen improvements on some wellness systems and environmental changes that will yield what I believe to be long-term benefits for our country. School improvements are necessary but not sufficient. As a result, we need the business community to more regularly step up and support our efforts. It can be done. Last year, one of our partners, who's uh, also here today, Silver Diner, added some excellent healthy options to their menu. And in so doing, they raised money for local schools and for Action for Healthy Kids. And I call that a win-win. It is absolutely possible. Um, 
When I travel around the United States, because we have work going on in every state in the country, I often hear that the recession and the economy and the limited budgets are really preventing us for, from taking the kinds of steps that we need to take. Um, and I started thinking about this one time not too long ago and researching. And uh, did you know that, for example, the federal government budget uh, each year is roughly $4 trillion? And that number is dwarfed by the GDP of the United States, which is about $13 trillion. Did you know there are 12 zeros in a trillion? This is a massive amount of resources for this country. And so I don't think it's so much a matter of that we don't have the resources. It's a matter of priorities for this country. And if we are not prioritizing physical education in the schools, physical activity opportunities for our kids, nutrition education, and good, healthful foods like the kinds we heard about a few moments ago for our kids, then you have to ask yourself a question. What in the world? or how in the world are we prioritizing our resources to ensure that our kids' futures are as great as they possibly can be? And the simple but excruciatingly painful answer is that we have not prioritized well. So I'll get off my high horse. Uh, we're not asking businesses to stop make a profit, uh, making profits, far from it. Um, but as this program proves, businesses can do a better job. It's important to limit our caloric intake and to limit our fat intake, but it's perhaps even more important to encourage the consumption of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat and non-fat dairy, which is exactly what this program does because, like I said, I've got little ones, and when you tell them not to eat something, for sure they are going to go and try and get it. And so encouraging them uh, to, to eat some uh, different kinds of foods is really important. Um, we needed the Restaurant Association to do this, um, and we need a lot more kinds of businesses to make similar kinds of contributions, especially in the physical activity realm. And so I'd like to congratulate Don, uh, the National Restaurant Association, Healthy Dining Finder, and all of the founding participating restaurants uh, for this important Kids Well program. I'm going to be trying it out in just a couple of days, and so I look forward to uh, selecting some of those options. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rob. And finally, finally, you guys know what that means, right? Finally. Uh, and this is, a, this is a good one. We're uh, happy to welcome Jill Berry, who's with us today. Jill is, uh, Rob, to your point, a mom. She's also a blogger. And she runs the online communities uh, for the DC and Baltimore's uh, popular, uh, with many of us, City Mommy sites. Jill, uh, thank you so much for joining us. And we'd love to hear a little bit about your perspective on why this program uh, is going to be valuable for moms across uh, the nation. Jill? Thanks, Dawn. Again, uh, my name is Jill Berry, and I'm here today in two roles. First, as a mom, I have a, t a teenager, a tween, and an eight-year-old. With three kids and a multitude of sports, activities, and events, we are on the go 24-7. Most nights we have uh, homework, school events, volleyball games, swim practice, karate. We're just busy. <laughs> While our family goal is to eat dinner at home as often as possible, we eat out several nights a week. It's just, just uh, there's no other choice. I would much prefer to eat all our family meals at home, but our hectic schedule necessitates that we eat on the go. Whether we are eating out or in, I want to feed my family healthy, nutritious meals. I'm a blogger, too. I blog at musingsfromme.com about seizing family time every movie, game night, and dinner at a time. Um, eating dinner as a family is very important to my family and my blog readers, and as it is to many families. Um, and so I was really excited to learn about this new program that will make it much easier for my family to make healthier choices when eating out. I want to give a big thank you to the restaurants here today that are leading the way to help families enjoy eating out in a healthier way. Uh, my second role in being here is uh, on behalf of City Mommy. I'm the leader of DC City Mommy and the newly launched Baltimore City Mommy. City Mommy is a social network, a networking site for moms across the US. We have 50 chapters nationwide. Helping kids eat healthier is a big concern for many moms as it is for our City Mommies. Um, through the City Mommy Network, we will be able to educate moms across the nation about the Kids Live Well program and the restaurants offering the healthier kids meals. Uh, this will help many families. I'm really glad I can take a role as a blogger, as a social media marketer, and of course as a mom to get the word out about the Kids Live Well program. And I know our city mommies will be grateful for this program. So thank you for inviting me.
Thank you, Jill. Now, before we uh, go to the meal, I'd just like to, oh, the meal, the uh, options and the tastings, I'd like to just uh, take a moment to see if there are any questions or comments from the audience uh, before we uh, close the webinar and move on to the sampling. So any questions or comments uh, from any of you here uh, today? The kids are saying, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I would like to again just to uh, congratulate and thank uh, all of the companies that have been involved in the creation and the launch of the Kids, well, Kids Live Well program, as well as the tremendous team uh, at the National Restaurant Association that has worked tirelessly on this for over a year, uh, and along with Healthy Dining Finder to uh, be able to bring you here today. Uh, our restaurant uh, folks have brought some tempting offerings. Everyone's welcome to taste what we have. I'd like to uh, let the kids start to move in that direction first so that they can get there early and fast along with their parents if that's appropriate. Uh, and I uh, welcome all of you to try these wonderful and delicious options. Thank you so much for being with us here today. Today, today we are happy to announce Kids Live Well an initiative that will help identify restaurants that offer healthful kids' choices on menus nationwide. These Kids Live Well items emphasize healthful ingredients such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, whole grains, and low-fat and fat-free dairy products. These choices also meet stringent nutritional criteria, and they are fully aligned with the 2010 USDA Dietary Guidelines. I think it says a lot about our industry that restaurants are excited and are stepping up to the plate by joining this program and making the healthful choice the easy and delicious choice. The National Restaurant Association is rolling out this program in collaboration with Healthy Dining. Healthy Dining's website will help parents easily find the restaurants that the kids live well menu choices and the nutrition information are available. Healthy Dining's team of registered dietitians also work with participating restaurants to validate the menu items and the nutrition information. All of the participating companies will also be listed on the National Restaurants Association's website as well, and we'll show you how to find the restaurant items, the restaurants and the items in just a few minutes. To be included in the Kids Live Well program, restaurants must offer a full children's meal, which includes an entree, a side and a beverage with 600 calories or less. That meal must be comprised of nutrient-rich foods by providing two servings of fruit, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and or low-fat dairy, and limiting sodium, fats, and sugar. Restaurants must also offer at least one other side item that also follow the similar criteria. In addition, they must provide nutrition information about the meal as well as promote the item so that they are easily identifiable on the menu or the menu board. It's exciting, very exciting, uh, that we have 19 significant restaurant companies representing more than 15,000 locations all across the country Good morning and welcome to all of you. It's so wonderful to see so many of you here this morning. Hello to all of you also joining us via the live webcast. I'd especially like to welcome some of our youngest guests here today. And I want you in particular to know that it won't be too long before we get to the good part, okay? We gotta talk a little bit, but pretty soon the food will be coming. So uh, you've all no doubt experienced that the restaurant industry is an enormously dynamic, trend-setting, constantly evolving to meet uh, customer needs. And we're also an industry, we're very proud to say, that we uh, feel woven into the fabric of American lives. There are restaurants in nearly every single community across our nation. And the restaurant industry, uh, surprisingly to some, is larger than the aerospace, the agriculture, and the motion picture industries all combined. We employ nearly one in every 10 workers in this country. And a restaurant, as we all know and have experienced, is where families celebrate birthdays, calories in and calories out. We've seen some positive trends in the last few years of many restaurants recognizing consumer interest in more healthful options. In fact, our latest nationwide survey of chefs showed that nutritionally balanced children's meals were one of this year's top 
culinary trends. And two-thirds of quick service operators say that they're offering more healthful choices for children than they did just two years ago. 70% of the American public says that they are making more healthful choices while dining out than they did two years ago, just two years ago. So we wanted to seize upon that momentum and also drive innovation to deliver more healthful options on children's menus. So the National Restaurant Association has developed a program to make it easier for restaurants, as well as to provide a selection of healthier kids' options and make it easy for us as parents and for kids to try to find these options. The result is the creation of the nationwide program that we are unveiling here. Today is at anniversaries where the Little League and the Girl Scouts meet after a game or a meeting, where a time crunch family on the go goes for takeout. No matter what the occasion, we recognize the very important roles that restaurants play in Americans' lives. And we also realize the importance of giving parents and children more options and more information so that they can make menu choices that are right for them and for their families. The National Restaurant Association and our industry overall is committed to taking a proactive role in helping our country deal with issues related to food and healthy living, including childhood obesity. We know that we have an important role to play in helping Americans lead healthier lives. And our vision has been to create an environment that encourages voluntary, flexible options for restaurateurs to address today's healthy living challenges and to really develop a holistic approach to healthy living that, encompass, that encompasses a multitude of solutions, both, as we say,